Last week, I dissipated so much energy in discussing the uh, same faith ticket that the APC presidential flag bearer went for in when he chose in, a Muslim as his running mate in the person of Senator Kashim Shetima. And there was a lot of media backlash, a lot of uh, it generated so much controversy, a lot of people saying that um, the, uh, the presidential flag bearer for the APC was very insensitive to the unity of Nigeria because he didn't factor in, it, 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 the norm would have been for him to go for a Christian faith ticket as uh, the vice presidential flag bearer for the uh, APC come um, 2023 presidential election. That's what most people um, expected. They thought that would have been the choice, but he had a different re um, reason for going for Senator Shitima, which he said was based on competence, character, and capacity. So that was what he told us that, you know, and I spent so much time talking about that last week. I thought the issue could just come just like the usual Nigerian issue would just come, and then before you can say Jack Robinson it's fizzled out but this has refused to go away it's been there like the proverbial and um, cat with nine lives as much as you try to kill it it still comes back R recently the media has been a uh, <laughs> awash with all kinds of controversy bordering on the unveiling of the vice presidential flag bearer of the apc where the party has been accused of renting, renting or renting a crowd or you know, paying people to come and represent the Christian community as bishops and pastors, which uh, can has come out to debunk that they, has, they cannot recognize or re recognize any of those people or they are not, Khan is not aware any member of Khan was in that unveiling of Senator Kashim Shetima. And that the people who are parading themselves as bishops and pastors are actually fake. <laughs> in fact, the things that happen in Nigeria, I mean, sometimes in politics, nothing amazes me. Uh, anything in Nigerian politics, anything can happen. And then what really came to mind when we saw those pictures were the, okay, the Christian community uh, maybe has also uh, bought into the, uh, you know, reason, the explanation offered by. I am asked why Joe Ahmed you know, to go for a Muslim Muslim um, candidate. So we all thought that was, you know, what was going on until, of course, trust Nigerians do always want to do um, a, a fact check. You know, they, they did the fact check and then they said the people we saw were actually fake, 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 fake bishops. Well, nothing surprises one in Nigeria. Fake bishop? I don't get that. Which one is fake bishop? Don't they have hey, denominations? Can they be identified? Why would they be fake? And can't came out to say, deny that they, they don't know them. So, that they are fake. Because I do not really understand why you have to go and read. I think they were, they were up to 30, yeah. 30 of these um, so-called pastors and bishops that graced the occasion during the unveiling of um, Senator Kashim Shetima. About 30 of them. Yes. I want to pay tribute. I want to pay tribute to 30 bishops. 30 bishops of the Christian faith who are here to solidify with us. So the question is could they have been rented? In fact, the media is so inundated with stories of how this faith pastors and bishops in fact have been even quarreling among themselves some even saying that they were supposed to be paid a hundred grand and they ended up paying them for the grand and that that was not what was agreed i just this is just so i don't get it and by no means trying to endorse or give credibility to the story that the people who were there uh, as bishops and pastors were fake or rented I'm not giving credence to that, but I'm just saying, I'm just going with, you know, um, what, 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 the story out there in, on social media, the story that people are, you know, talking about. I'm just, let's even assume that that is supposed to be true. Now, the question is this, you have said that you, 
your choice whether christians muslims religion doesn't really matter what matters so long as the person has capacity competence and has the character to deliver on the job and that is, is someone they can compliment you and ensure that the vision for which you have for the country is achieved so it, it doesn't really matter where the person comes from it does not really matter which religion the person believes now the thing is this if you're telling us that so why do you need to rent fake bishops and pastors to 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 validate your legitimacy to I any mean, to add legitimacy to you don't need that they're trying so hard to convince us that um, even the christian community endorses your endorses your choice your choice of presidential and um, vice presidential candidates because if it didn't really matter you didn't have to and um, nobody really cares you've made your choice you made your choice you stand by it whoever that comes for the unveiling comes we will any religion that chooses to come fine if it doesn't if they don't want to come to try to convince people that even the christian community has also endorsed the candidacy of senator kashim shetima you don't have to do that if at all you did that i'm not saying you did so no i'm not saying the people there are fake i do not have any way to ascertain that they are fake but that is the general perception everybody i mean that's the general perception that they are fake but my question is if you say that christians or muslims don't really matter that what matters is the person that you are comfortable with it could be a christian it could be a muslim as long as that person has the capacity the character and then he has what it takes he has what it takes to you know drive your policies with you to see your vision and then get the job done that's what you say so now if that is your stand so I, I I don't really see why you need to go overboard to now rent bishops and pastors just to add va validity or legitimacy to his selection. I don't think that he would, I mean, he has already told us the reason why he went for the same thing ticket. So does he really need to rent bishops and um, pastors to as an endorsement for his choice? But for renting a crowd, <laughs> is wrapped, that whole concept is wrapped in deceit is wrapped in deceit and that's what nigerians are talking about if you can indeed deceive us now by renting fake pastors and bishops to you know um give us the fake impression that this your selection has been embraced by all and sundry then of course something is wrong with something definitely will be wrong with how your government is going to be wrong i don't think that is really proper but what do you think drop your comments below issue i'm talking about today is not even about the fake pastors the fake bishops today i'm going to talk more on just concluded gubernatorial election in Oshun state where the candidate of the pdp won in person of senator ademola adeleke senator ademola adeleke which many people call the dancing senator and it and, and when he's won in he becomes the dancing governor so the, <laughs> the truth of the matter is this i sometimes uh, i know that governance is a very serious is a very serious business and uh, would you say that um, senator ademola Deleke has that capacity has that personality to get into the serious business of uh, being a governor of the state because with all kinds of with, with the problems that we are facing yeah, all all the states in nigeria have very serious problems uh, as a matter of fact so the, for the problems that we're facing do you honestly think that this very uh, comedy like governor so to speak would really take the serious business of governance we really would we'll be able to tackle the serious business of governance that i'm just asking <laughs> just 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 to take a look at this
Wow. <laughs> With this man as the as the governor, I mean, things be a lot more. I mean, I think I remember. Uh, was it the uh, former governor Russia's culture when he, I think he um, appointed the commissioner for commissioner for happiness or, so, or, or something. He appointed commissioner for happiness. They said that um, because Nigeria was too tense, Nigeria was too um, it has a lot of issues, and then they, they, they really needed a commissioner that would be dishing out happy moments to to the people. Wow. You can see the dancing steps there. You can just see that he has just danced his way into the government, Ocean State Government House. Congratulations, the dancing Senator. Oh, sorry, Senator Adel Ademola Adeleke. And congratulations. The, the point I'm trying to make is this. Do you think Senator Ademola Adeleke has that personality to, you know, to be the governor of that state? Uh -huh. It's, it takes things very easy. Do you think Niger Nigerians need this someone that's that someone that seems like he doesn't really um, is not very serious minded? I'm not saying he's not serious minded, but from the, the feelers that everybody's getting, that's what they call him a dancing senator. Uh, you, do you think he will, he will have what it takes to uh, man that office and be able to deliver on his promise? The, be able to do the serious business of governance. So that is, I know in other other climes that we we've, we've had um, um, comedians becoming becoming a um, president, just like the president of Ukraine, just like the president of Ukraine. So, do you think this governor, this dancing dancing senator, will bring uh, more happiness to people? But it's, do you think he, he would have that personality? to tackle the very serious business of governance he has danced his way into government house so do you think that is sufficient most people are saying that the reason why senator ademola adeleke won that guba election is just because the people are trying to make a statement a big statement for why the APC went for a Muslim Muslim ticket issue. They said they voted against the APC as a way of protesting for uh, why the ruling party had to go for the same faith ticket, the Muslim Muslim ticket. So they are telling them that they are not cool with that decision and voting against them, making them lose the election in Oshun State is just a tip of the iceberg com compared to what awaits them in the general elections do you think that is true my closing thoughts as religion enhances national development it can also be counterproductive as religion influences politics in terms of composition of who represents the people sometimes this could pose a negative implications for the country as the issue of competence may be sacrificed under the altar of religious consideration as this may likely reduce the important debates on how to move the country forward to sentimental considerations of religion. Trust politicians to, you know, seize the moment and harp on this seeming divisive factor in order to hold Nigerians to ransom by polluting the minds of Nigerians against one another. So we need to excuse ourselves from such primordial sentiment and elect a leader who understands that the citizens' demand for political power is not more than a derived demand because political power should not be sought for the sake of political power, but how to use political power as a platform to advance the cause of economic prosperity of the citizens. That is what the demand for political power should be all about and not to be used to exploit the state resources for self-aggrandizement while the citizens who elected you continue to live or wallow in abject poverty, penury, and destitution. That will be all for today. Thank you for finding the time to watch my video. If you like the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Strike on that notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever I upload a video like this. Leave your comments down below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Remain awesome. See you pretty soon. Peace out.